From visitmysmokies.com, it's the fun cast. Our first widespread snow of the season is in the books. Anywhere from two to four inches of the stuff falling over the last weekend in the higher elevations. And temps were down in the teens high on Mount Lacan. Snow also seen around Ober Gatlinburg and into Cades Cove and Max Patch and a few patches even in Gatlinburg. And since then, they've reopened U.S. 441 Roaring Fork. Those have uh, long been open, but mountain trails could still be a little slippery, especially on Tuesday and Wednesday mornings before some milder air reaches even the higher elevations. And I'm your Smoky Mountain meteorologist, Paul Poteet. I'm predicting a 100% chance of more snow soon. Breaking news. Well, in a couple of weeks, Ober Gatlinburg is going to be opening up for the seasonal snow fun. Another year of snow tubing and skiing. Even if you don't like that or snow boarding, you can ride the ski mountain coaster. Wildlife encounter at Ober Gatlinburg's bigger than better than ever. We've got a story in the things to know section. The actual opening date of the winter fun is in that. Things to know section also has information about the Christmas shows that are going to start up Wednesday November 1st, we've got productions from the Smoky Mountain Opry, the Hatfields and McCoys, Country Tonight, and of course... Dollywood Smoky Mountain Christmas starts on Saturday. But you got to finish up with Halloween first, right? Is that the way this works? Well, there's one last Halloween item to cross off the list for you on Tuesday. The Trick or Treat Carnival, 1 to 5 p.m. Ripley's Aquarium of the Smokies Plaza in Gatlinburg. Your kids can play contests. They can compare their costume with some costume characters. Plenty of candy. The kids get to hang out with the police and fire departments also of Gatlinburg. Now, this coming weekend, you can work off some of that trick-or-treat candy. Join Friends of the Smokies on Sunday, November 5th. It's the return of the Cades Cove Loop Lope. The registration is in progress, and it looks like the weather will be maybe a little wet for that, but it won't be still slippery from snow in any of those places. If you're looking for frugal fun, I've got an idea, a story that has cheap things to do around the Smoky Mountains. You may not even know about the Salt and Pepper Shaker Museum. Well, it's only three bucks to get in, and it's applied to what you buy in the gift shop. That's not too salty. That's one of our suggestions and things to know. Another one, by the way, is to use the coupons and discounts from visitmysmokies.com. They're all over the website, and while you're exploring our website, click Where to Stay. Get those cabins booked for the busy Winterfest season. Well, it looks like we're going to pull back a little bit on winter here in the seven-day forecast that does return us to the 60s. Beautiful Monday followed the snow. Now, Tuesday is looking fairly decent. Maybe more clouds by Wednesday. Showers and perhaps thunderstorms return to the outlook. A slight chance Thursday, better chances Friday and Saturday. We may be dry again on Sunday with above normal numbers at that point. Typically, we'd be more like the low to mid-60s this time of year. See you again with another update soon from visitmysmokies.com.